Former President Trump is continuing his attacks, <clears throat> excuse me, on his potential 2024 Republican rival, and that is Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. CNN's Daniel Dale fact checks some of Trump's claims about DeSantis. So, Daniel, let's start with his claim that Florida is the third worst in crime in the country. Is that, in fact, true? Well, there's a handy trick for trying to make the country's most populous cities and states look like they're really bad on crime, and that is simply using their absolute totals without factoring in their population. So it is true that Florida has, as former President Trump said, uh, the third most reported murders, rapes, and aggravated assault. What he didn't mention is that that is largely because Florida has the third largest uh, most populous state. And so if you look at per capita figures, which is by far the, the fairer way to actually compare between states, Florida fares notably better. It's 25th worst on murder, so right in the middle, 33rd worst on reported rape, so better than the middle, and 23rd worst on aggravated assault, again, right around the middle. So very important context that the former president is not mentioning here. Daniel, something fascinating about the former president is his ability to meld recollections of things. Like stories change as he tells them more and more. And there's one that he keeps yeah. telling about, yeah, about uh, how he only endorsed DeSantis for governor because he saw DeSantis defend him over his first impeachment battle. Um, set the record straight on that one. This is an easy fact check, and the fact check is, is this could not possibly be true because the president's endorsement of then-Congressman DeSantis for Florida governor came in mid-2018. The Trump first impeachment battle began in late 2019, so he could not possibly have seen him on TV defending him on impeachment and then said, what the heck, I'll endorse him for that reason. Now, it is possible that Trump is thinking of DeSantis defending him on the Mueller Russia probe in 2017, but Trump is the one who keeps raising Biden gaffes as if, you know, they're a sign of serious mental decline or something like that. So I think it's important to point out when Trump's own stories are, are similarly inaccurate. To be fair, there have been several probes, so one can understand how you may confuse them and, and what year they happened in. Uh, Daniel, Trump also has been attacking DeSantis over his pandemic policies. And in a statement last week, Trump claimed that DeSantis sealed all beaches and other places for, ended, for extended periods of time. Is that one correct? This is an exaggeration. So it is true that Governor DeSantis closed some beaches in Florida. He didn't close all of them. In March 2020, he ordered the closures of public beaches in Broward and Palm Beach counties, two populous counties, but he would not order a statewide closure. In fact, he was sued unsuccessfully for refusing to do a statewide closure. On the other beaches, uh, he simply ordered that people limit their gatherings to no more than 10 people and stay six feet apart. And we know that was in line with what then President Trump and the Trump administration we're urging people to do at the time. So the DeSantis order certainly did not come out of nowhere. All right, Daniel Dale, keeping us honest by always fact-checking everything. Thank you so much.